By the way, kung nagtataka kayo, bakit ganito yung get up ko? Actually, I can't move on sa Miss Universe na kakatapos lang. So, I'm feeling extra glamorous today. Kakagali ko lang mga work. And I decided to glam up a little for this video. Welcome back to my channel and uh, today I will be sharing with you my January 2017 favorites. So I will start off with my uh, skincare and uh, this is uh, the Innisfree Super Volcanic Clay Mousse Mask. So I made a short review about this product and if you want to know more about it, I'll include the link on the description box below. Okay. Guys, this is the St. Ives. Timeless Skin Collagen Elastin Moisturizer. A moisturizer that I got from Watson's in Manila. And uh, this is only for 199 pesos. Gusto ko siya kasi hindi siya greasy sa mukha. And at the same time, affordable siya. In uh, this size, 283 grams, you can apply it liberally on your face and as often as you want. Uh, my next favorite is this Sephora Waterproof Eye Makeup Remover. Okay? So, gusto ko siya kasi madali niyang natatanggal yung waterproof eye makeup ko, like yung gel eyeliner and yung mascara. So, that's it for my skincare items for this January. Now, let's move on to my makeup products. So, I'll start off with my go-to primer at the moment. So, ito siya. So, guys, this is the ELF Mineral Infused Face Primer. So, affordable siya, drugstore brand. And uh, sabi nila, comparable yung quality niya sa Smashbox Face Primer. And so far, it works good on me. Okay siya, hindi nagkikiki yung foundation or yung powder na nilalagay ko. Lalo na dito sa may bandang nose. Kasi yun yung problem ko. For foundation, I'm loving this. And this is in the shade number 34, medium beige. Gusto ko siya kasi maganda yung coverage niya and hindi ko kailangan maglagay ng masyadong madami para ma-cover yung mga problem areas ko. I'll move on to my favorite concealer. And for my under eye uh, circles, I like this Naturactor Face Cover in number 151. So, nilalagay ko siya para sa under eye circles ko. Kasi ata, nung nagpaulan ng under eye circles, parang sinalo ko ata lahat. For brightening my face, uh, I'm using this Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. And this is in the shade 10. This is the lightest shade. Nabili ko kasi to dito sa mascot. Sa Philippines, number 20 yung lightest shade na meron sila. So if you want to try this lightest shade, I suggest you go ahead and check online. Baka makahanap kayo ng shade number 10 like this. My go-to powder is RCMA No Color Powder. So, sobrang finely milled ng powder na to and inexpensive din siya compared sa ibang mga uh, setting powder. So, ito ang dami niya, 3 ounces. Actually, I forgot kung how much ko to nakuha kasi medyo matagal na sa akin to. Ka-level siya nung Ben Nye Banana Powder. So, since everyday ako nagmi-makeup, mas gusto ko yung mas nakakatipid ako. And at the same time, achieve yung effect na gusto ko. I'm also using this Nichido Final Powder. And this is in the shade Creamy Glow. It's very cheap. For 150 pesos only, there is an alternative. For my favorite compact, this is the FS Cosmetics. And uh, this is the two-way cake in the shade Organza. I like this because comparable to MAC, though it's powdery, MAC 
Studio Fix. Mas mura siya. Maganda yung coverage niya. Actually, pwede mong gamitin siya alone or on top of a BB cream. Parang photo finish yung skin mo. So, let's move on to my face products. I'll start off with the bronzer. I love this Hula by Benefit. This bronzer is also the same one that I use for contouring. Kung gusto ko ng extra definition sa face ko. Like right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, ganito yung shade niya. Yeah, maganda siya. Hindi siya masyadong orangey. It's taupe base. Ano siya? Finely milled na press powder. It's okay pag ginagamit mo siyang pang contour or pang bronze ng face mo. And then for the blush, actually, this is my first high-end blush that I've tried. And so far, I'm loving it. I think that it's really worth the investment. And uh, this is the Marc Jacobs Air Blush. And this is in the shade 502 Lines and Last Night. It's like a peachy pink, like a combination of highlighter and blush in one. Pero maganda yung effect niya. Parang natural glow and hindi hindi siya basta no overdo. This one, maganda siya kasi pwede mong gamitin as more of a pinky yung color niya. Or more uh, almost like a highlighted glow lang. Maganda siya. And my go-to highlighter which is MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Soft and gentle. Ito yung go-to highlighter ko at the moment. Let's move on to my favorite eye products. So right now, I'm loving this Eye Heart Stage Eyeshadow Base from Essence. This is for 249 pesos. And this is my go-to eyeshadow palette. This is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Contour Palette. Sensya na, nabura na siya kasi lagi ko siyang dinadala. And these are the shades of Kat Von D. Tatlong quad to. Cool tone, neutral, and warm tone. And my favorite shade is etong reddish brown, Lucius. Dahil kilay is life. I'm loving this Anastasia Beverly Hill in soft brown. And it looks like this. Yan yung ginagamit ko sa eyebrows. I like Inglot AMC Gel Eyeliner in number 77. Black na black siya. As in super black. Medyo matagal na siya sa akin. Yan. Kasi guys, yung tendency nga ng mga gel eyeliner is nagda-dry siya. This Inglot Duraline, para siyang solvent ng gel eyeliner. Just in case naman na I'm on the go, kailangan lagi nasa purse ko itong Tokyo Cape Super Sharp Eyeliner. Kasi kapag kailangan ko ng mabilis ang eyeliner, ito yung ginagamit ko. So this is how the swatch looks like. Yan. So madaling gumawa ng cut eye or uh, simple eyeliner gamit to. Hindi siya waterproof. So, yun lang yung hindi ko gusto sa kanya. So, after ng eyeliner, let's move on to my favorite pencil product. I love this. Rimmel Scandalize Nude Number no. 005 for my waterline. Mas na-hide niya. Nakoconceal niya yung mga redness sa waterline. And, sometimes, kung magta-tightline naman ako, I use this Makeup Forever. Aqua XL in the shade brown, number M60. And uh, this one, pang tight line ko. Or me, pang eyeliner lang, ng simple. And for my mascara, right now, I'm really liking this Heroin Make Long and Curl Super Waterproof Mascara. I've seen this in Bangkok and I told my friend kung pwede bang kunin niya for me. And then, nung nag siya sa Hong Kong, nakita niya to and binili niya for me. She's so sweet. So, sh so shout out to Ted. Thank you so much. And now, let's move on to my go-to lipsticks. So, since it's uh, winter, sobrang drying yung mga matte lipsticks sa akin. And uh, because of that, pag nag-work ako, I prefer to use this Maybelline number no. 547 in Pleasure Me Red. Okay, so this is the lipstick. And let me show you the swatch. Yan. Moisturizing siya, hindi siya matte finish. So, hindi nagbabakwak yung lips ko. And for the days na meron lang kong errands or I'm in the layover and I just want a natural look, I use this 
Maybelline New York Flash Bitten Lipstick in the shade RD01 or Raspberry Red. And uh, inspired ito ng Korean makeup. Ito yung itsura niya guys. So may red, may almost uh, light pink and nude part siya. And pag ginamit mo siya, yung darkest part, yun yung sa inner lips mo. So, sa, ta, sa baba siya, kapag mag-draw ka sa upper lips mo, and nasa taas naman siya kapag mag apply ka sa lower lip mo. Para kang naka-lip stain na nag ombre effect. And that's also moisturizing. Hey guys! I guess this is it. Thank you so much for watching my January 2017 favorites. And thank you for hanging out with me. Don't forget to click on the thumbs up button if you find this video useful. And comment down the description box below if you've tried this product or you have any comments, questions, suggestions. Just comment it down the description box below. Don't forget to also subscribe by clicking this channel right over here and uh, get notified each time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!